Well, good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us today in our study of the book of Ephesians. Our wonderful day in the Lord broadcast is devoted to looking at the scriptures and applying it into our lives. And we're taking a verse-by-verse -verse look at the book of Ephesians, have worked our way now all the way down to chapter 6 and verse 12, and we're, we're examining this armor of God that we need in order to have a victory over the spiritual forces of darkness in this Christian life. You probably heard the term spiritual warfare. Uh, that's, a, that's a good term, but it's sometimes abused. Uh, in more modern times, people have started a whole movement called the spiritual warfare movement that uh, goes far beyond what Scripture teaches about demons and spiritual powers and so forth. You have to be kind of careful there. But what we're looking at here is a biblical teaching concerning this spiritual warfare that is ours. The enemy that we face is spiritual, and it is just, they are described in verse 12. Uh, we want to look a little bit about th at these demons. We've already seen Satan. He is the, uh, the head of this whole army of spiritual forces that are, are against us. But he tells us a number of things in, in verse 12. First of all, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, and so forth. So first of all, we, we discovered that in our battle spiritually with the forces of evil, we're not battling people. We're battling spiritual enemies. Uh, we see people, we see evil people, we see evil systems. Uh, we, that's what we see, in that, and, and we use certain weapons against those. But if we're going to battle spiritual enemies, uh, physical weapons don't work because this enemy is spiritual. They're not physical. Their origin of these uh, particular demonic beings, spiritual forces of evil, is really not given to us in Scripture. But we do see these demonic beings showing up in the Bible in various places, especially in the Gospels when Jesus, Jesus was on earth. We find that um, probably, almost certainly they were cast out of the heavenlies in chapter 12 of Revelation along with the devil, and we'll look at the heavenlies a little bit, a little bit tomorrow. Uh, but uh, what we do know about them is this. We, we know, first of all, they're spiritual, and secondly, we know they're evil. So everything about this verse, it says, that, that talks about them is, is evil. It says they're, the, they're the world forces of this darkness. It said they're spiritual forces of wickedness. So they're evil, they're wicked. And so the, these are demonic spiritual beings. Secondly, we find them organized. Uh, we don't know a lot about that, and that's where, where the spiritual warfare movement went astray, trying to figure out things Scripture doesn't detail. But what we do know is they have some kind of hierarchy. Uh, it, it, there, several of them are named here. There's rulers, there's powers, there's world forces of this darkness, there's spiritual forces of wickedness. Uh, in another verse in this same book, it talks about dominions. So we have these various uh, evil spirits that apparently have a hierarchy, maybe an organized scheme or organized program or structure. Uh, we're not exactly sure how that works. Apparently some of these demonic beings have more power than others, but we're not really given a lot of insight into that. But we are given a number of descriptions here of these wicked, evil spiritual forces. We do find also that they are opposed against us. They're, they oppose us. Uh, they, they're, they're fighting us. That's why we need the spiritual armor. So our battle, our great struggle, is with these demonic forces that are opposed to us. Just like Satan, as 1 Peter chapter 5 says, they are seeking to devour us, to destroy us, to deceive us, to corrupt us. That is their mission. That is their, that is their joy. That is what they want to do. And then finally, we find here that uh, I believe that the earth is their domain. Uh, when, uh, when they fell with Satan, uh, and apparently if Revelation 12 is our guide, there was a third of the angelic forces that fell with the devil uh, back in the uh, time of creation yeah, that uh, ever since then been called by us often demons. And these evil forces, about a third of the he heavenly ones that the Lord had created, uh, they are now having a domain on earth. They roam the earth. Uh, they seek to devour people on the earth as they roam around the earth. But we find here also it says in heavenly places. 
So they also have some kind of access to heaven, the heavenly places. What is that? Well, we don't have time to look at that today, but we will conclude this week by looking at what the heavenly places are tomorrow. We'll see you then.